Good morning, everybody. I got up early today and already started collecting stuff. One of my sources called me last night and said they had a mower for me and a, a pressure washer, and I ended up getting a couple other things at the same time. <clears throat> so this Subaru pressure washer does not have any hose on it. The hose was shifted over to the Honda pressure washer. The person I got it from said the Honda pressure washer works. Had it running a couple of times and didn't want to start it today which I don't blame them. You don't want to start a pressure washer without water hooked up to it. You don't want to have a dry dry pump. It's not good for the pump system. So without the wand and hose for the, the Subaru, I'll probably just use this for parts, although it looks kind of new. I'm not sure what the story with this one is, other than the... the um, soap container here is cracked. It looks like a, a crazy design where it's got cracked by the overhead valve cover there. And it's an electric start. Never saw an electric start pressure washer before. Anyway, so the, the Honda pressure washer, I'll be able to do, do a light cleaning on that check the oil and the filter and this will be a quick turnaround it'll be the first pressure washer I have bought and sold I usually don't mess with pressure washers this was the deal of the day though this craftsman 7.25 horsepower self-propelled mower it's a, a running machine that I gave 25 bucks for it. I'm going to do a quick cleanup and change the air filter. The air filter's kind of rough. So it's a 2017 model year. I've never gotten anything that new before. The uh, the, the plastics here remind me of the, the movie The Terminator. All these lines in the design. Looks like a Terminator lawnmower. So this, this here was a great deal for 25. I'll sharpen the blade. This will go quick. I'll advertise it for the weekend warriors. Uh, overfilled on the oil I noticed I gotta drain about a quart of oil off it's it's past the top line so that's no problem I also picked up a couple of bicycles I don't mess with bicycles I got a friend that takes the bikes I pick up and fixes them up for the homeless ministry downtown. So this is a good candidate here, this Huffy Iron Man. Both tires are flat. Probably needs the inner tubes patched or new inner tubes. <clears throat> I don't mess around with the bikes because they're a dime a dozen and and you just don't make any money on the, the bicycles. And these will go to a good source. This was thrown into the deal, too, for free. An old Columbia Grand Sport 10 speed. It's not in bad condition, other than the rims are rusty and it would need two inner tubes and two tires. Looks like it sat in the back of somebody's garage. So as, as I was about to leave, he brought out this Husqvarna blower that he had forgotten about. So I gave 10 bucks for this, 
just because it looks so new and it's the Husqvarna brand's a reputable brand. So I'm not quite sure what the deal with this one is. I'll take the um, the carburetor off and see if it needs to be cleaned. It's not starting right now. Maybe start with the, the spark plug, something simple. See if I got spark and then go with carburation next. So this will be a good seller, this Husqvarna blower, the 125B. So today was a great haul. Got a blower, a couple of bicycles, that'll go to a good home. This Craftsman mower, 2017 model year. And one running pressure washer and probably one parts washer. I've never had a Subaru motor before, so this might be handy in the future for parts if I pick up another Subaru. So that's the deal. Today's early morning deal. So I got a lot of work ahead of me to get this stuff running and sold. Thanks for watching and I hope you have a great day. Subscribe to my channel. I'll show you the next batch of goodies that I pick up that can be fixed. Save the landfills. Bye.